people of the earth welcome or welcome back to my channel today as you see by the title i am going to be sharing with you my prep and some tips to get ready for school now i know some of you are already in school i'm really sorry i know how that feels literally like i just graduated i know how that feels but i promise you you got this with your girl here who will help you out in every step of the way so make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time i post a new video but without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing I want to share with you guys is planning. I feel like this is essential to when it comes to school because when you're in school and you have things like sports, clubs, you have work or extracurricular activities, volunteer work, you're going to have a lot on your plate most of the time when it comes to the academic school year especially during fall because when we start like we have so many breaks in between that they squeeze everything in so quickly in every week so that you can get stuff done before november and december so i find it efficient to have planners for me i have three planners all together and i know that might seem obsessive but honestly i'm telling you it helps me all the way through but i don't use all three of these planners in the same category or in the same place they are all in different apps and they all help me in a different way. So the first app I would like to show you is GoodNotes. GoodNotes is a app where you can create your own planners with hyperlinks and you can add stickers or customize it to your liking. For me, I love GoodNotes because I personally love making planners and I have been ever since I got the app. So I just got my iPad this year actually, so I'm still learning a little bit, but I am gonna share with you what I know so far. On my GoodNotes, I have two planners that I created myself and if you're interested in having them or buying them, I will definitely link them down below so that you can have them and they're on Etsy. They're only gonna be $5 just in case you're wondering the price. Don't worry, it's only $5, so it's very affordable for anybody. But these two planners are something that will help me through a lot throughout the school year, and I've been using them quite frequently for a little bit, except for my student planner, which I just made literally two nights ago. But I finished it, and it looks pretty good to me. Honestly, I love having my own personal touch, so not everything was typed in. I really love to make sure that I add my own personal touch to it, so that way I'm not feeling bored when I'm using it and it feels more personal to me and I'll be able to memorize it more. And for more planning, of course I have to have my daily planner, which is another planner that I have. This is, I know it's like seems crazy, like I said at the beginning, I have three planners. So this one right here is actually for like weekly, daily, monthly, everything. So like every month, I will color code everything that you see here. Look at that, how beautiful is that? So on the notes, I actually color code what each one it means so that way I'm not confused because every month I'm gonna use different colors. I'm not gonna use the same ones. So that's what that looks like. And then on the weeklies, they look like this. Every week you can plan out stuff. I didn't use it much in July because I was doing a lot of online stuff, but for August I actually have been. So say this, this is like the last week of July, the beginning of August, and this is what I did for that. So that's just one example of what I do for my physical planner. So like I said, I color code everything just to make sure I have like that keep on going mind and making sure that I'm reminded of what I need to do. I check this every single day. So this is all stuff that I do on a daily basis. Now, if you do not want to do online or paper planning, my best suggestion is your calendar on your phone or iPad or laptop. One thing I know for sure is a lot of people like to use Google Calendar, but I have a lot of Apple products, so for all of my stuff to sync together, I just use my Apple Calendar. I use this and I put everything in here from appointments to important dates to birthdays to my classes. I put everything in color codes so nothing is confusing and I know where everything is all the time. So yes, planning may seem like a lot, but at the same time, it's really not. It can be like as simple as just writing it down and remembering it. Anyway, along with planning, I feel like routines are really important with that too. So if you have planners, you can also put your routine in there. For me, I feel like it's really stabilizing if you have a routine. I try to keep this routine going a week before school starts or two weeks before school starts so you know if it feels right to you. Now I know a lot of people talk about this and it may seem overrated to have a routine, but your routine doesn't have to be 20,000 steps. 
It could be as simple as having five steps, 10 steps, or even one. Just making sure that you're actually doing something throughout the day. For me, I use Notion. Once again, I swear this is not sponsored. I feel like I say that every video because I have a lot of things I use, but it's not sponsored, I swear. I'm not getting paid for this, guys. But on Notion, under my life tab where I put my other planner, there is a routine. So on routine, I have two routines right now. I'm making a third one for Thursdays and Tuesdays, which I haven't done yet, but the first two I have is my regular routine for my free time so that one is just a 7 to 9 31 I swear you guys if you keep it the same every day you're not gonna like it and you're gonna be bored out of your mind every time and it's gonna feel like a chore rather than something that you feel good doing so instead of using the same thing every single day and making sure that you do that every single day try to change it up a little bit now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is that both of these start and end at the same time. So my day starts at 7 a.m. and then the day ends at 9.30, 9.45. So right now, that is something that is helping me a lot. It's easier to have something that starts and ends on the same time every single day than having something that starts and ends different times every single day. You're gonna be quite confused and your body is not gonna work with you whatsoever if you do that. So make sure that your actual routine makes sense and is kind of stabilized and is categorized in some sort of way. So on the first routine, as you can see on the free time one where I put my 7 to 9.30, 9.45 type of schedule, that is where I do the same thing. I do a pretty good bit of productivity, so it depends on what you really want. For me, I like to be productive throughout my day. So I don't like to just sit around, though it may seem like I am, I'm really not, I'm actually doing something, but I like to be productive. So that is why the schedule is the way it is. Make sure that you actually have a goal, that is another thing. Make sure that you have a goal for your routine, so that way your routine matches with your goal. But if that plan doesn't work, change the plan, don't change the goal. I feel like that's something really important. Don't ever change the goal. If you change the goal, what are you actually reaching for? Actually, just change the plan. Don't ever change the goal so that you're actually reaching for something. You know what I'm saying? If you get it, you get it. You know, if you don't, that's okay. But anyways, both of these are more on the productive side. So I'm doing something every hour, every moment of the day. So that way I'm not just sitting around. Now with something along the lines of planning and routines, I love organization, as you could tell from the other two sections. Organization is such a stabilization in life. It really helps you out so much more than you think. So if you have a clean space, clean mind, clean computer, clean files, you'll feel so much better about life. For instance, I cleaned up my phone, so like I deleted all the apps that I don't use. Like, please, delete those apps you do not use. Don't be like, oh, I'm gonna use this in a month. Just delete it. Delete it. Just do it, okay? Believe me, it'll clean up some space in your phone and it'll be so much better for you because you're not gonna need it. You can always go back and download it again if you really need it. Nine times out of ten, you're really not gonna need it because you're not gonna go back and, you know, download it, so delete it. Another thing you need to delete is some of those photos and TikToks you got in your photos like me. <laughs> yes, delete them too. I literally had so many photos and videos in my camera roll and honestly, I don't even know how they all got there. They just kind of accumulated over the days and the years and the months. That's not my fault. But anyway, that's just something I do. I love taking videos and I love taking photos, but then I realized that where is all this going? I'm already paying for this two TV, but it'll run out faster than I think if I keep taking all these videos and photos. So yes, delete them. I know it can be hard, delete it. Keep a couple of things, like say if you took like a thousand pictures of yourself like I did, just keep two, throw the rest away. So after you delete them, they don't actually get deleted from Apple. So you got to go to your recently deleted and actually delete them. So after you delete everything, go to your recently deleted and delete it. So you get the point. You get the point. It's in the video, so it's not confusing at all. And then the next thing I do for some more organization in this phone of mine, I actually decorate my phone. I love doing this every time. Now, the first time I did this, it took me about a good three hours, three hours and a half, four hours, maybe. When Widget Smith first came out, everybody was like, let me decorate my phone. And I was like, me too. And I did, surely did. And at the time I had an Android, so I think it made it even harder. But once I switched over to Apple, it was so much easier. 
and now that I do it like almost every month not every month every season I kind of change it up a little bit so like first one season I'll do winter themed and then I'll do fall themed so it kind of just revolves around the seasons so what you're gonna do is open shortcuts plus button and then it's gonna take you to the add action screen you're gonna click open app go ahead and select whatever app you want it to open for me I chose calculator and then I'm going to go ahead and adjust the calculator setting however I want to. So I'm going to type in calculator. And then I'm just going to add whatever style I want it to do on my home screen. I'm going to go to fonts and I added some little details to it to make it look a little bit cuter on my home screen. So once I do that, you're going to go ahead and click the image. You're going to select the image that you want. For me, I chose this little coffee thing. Adjust it to however your liking is and then boom add and then you're gonna have it on your home screen so there that is now for the last serious thing i'm gonna talk about is school supplies now every single year whether it's macbooks or you know pencils paper notebooks or whatever you're gonna need school supplies every single school year so yes get you some school supplies you're gonna need to write and you're going to need to do things in class. School supplies, you're just going to need every single year. For me, I use a lot of stationery. So like, as you've seen in my school supply haul, I use pens, pencils, like notebooks. I use highlighters, but that's all because of something I said earlier, like my planning. I love taking notes and I love planning. So this is something I do on the regular. So yes, I have a bunch of highlighters and stuff, but none of it will go to waste. Get all those things that you need for school because you want to be prepared for school when school starts. You know what I'm saying? Now on to one of the funner parts of this video, which is glowing up. Now when I say glow up, I don't mean like body wise, food wise or anything like that. I mean like glow up. Go get your nails done, go get your hair done, go get your lashes done, your eyebrows done. Get you some new clothes that fit your aesthetic or whatever and feel good before going back to school. You don't want to feel like a piece of crap going on in the first week. You want to feel confident in yourself, you want to feel good. This is just part of the process when it comes to back to school anyway. Literally glowing up a little bit, doing things that make you feel good for the first week of school, showing off for the first week of school. Now, even with that, like it can enhance your look a little bit every year. Like if you buy some new clothes that nobody ever seen before and you go to the same school all four years of your high school year or all three years of middle school or whatever, you're going to be like feeling good. You're going to look good. You're going to look nice. And people are going to notice that for a reason because they're going to be like, oh, you look so good. I love your outfit and whatever. It sparks conversations. Not that that's not going to happen anyway, but it sparks conversations when you have a good outfit on. Like today, literally somebody was complimenting me on my hair and they were like, oh my God, your hair is so cute. What color is it? Conversations start like that. Look good sometimes. And if you want to lower it down a little bit, you know, bring it down a notch, you can do that too. But you know, feeling good is feeling confident in yourself it gives you confidence to do something throughout the day for me personally I feel like if I get ready I can do things like I'm actually doing stuff throughout the day so that just makes me feel good when I am looking good so if I look good I feel good if I feel good I look good that's just how it is period on to the last part of this video which is free time y'all use that free time that you have during the rest of your summer now you may feel like you'll need to do all of that bull crap i just talked about literally before school you don't have to and that's perfectly fine use your free time do whatever you need to do before school starts so that way when you feel school starts you're not behind on anything that you wanted to do in your free time don't feel like school stopped you from doing what you wanted to do so like I said before make yourself feel good before school make yourself feel good before school that will make you feel way more confident way more productive than someone who goes to school feels dejected and feels like school took everything away from them like I understand how that can feel so make sure that you do whatever you want to do before school starts stay up on them late nights don't tell your mama I said that I'm giving you advice as your big sister so don't tell on me that's not very nice but anyways like i was saying do all that you like to do for me i love watching dramas listening to podcasts listening to music taking walks reading like all of those things 
excite me throughout my day and I love doing that stuff so if you love doing that stuff do what you like to do throughout the summer even though I'm very much doing a lot of things throughout the day and throughout the summer I'm actually having free time to do stuff as well so that doesn't mean I'm just productive all day like you've seen in my schedule I still have time to actually watch shows I give myself that hour or two to actually do something I want to do so that way I'm not feeling like I was like constricted constricted to just doing one thing or constricted to just doing what someone else wanted me to do or what I need to do like responsibilities throw those out the door for a minute and just do something fun just go ahead and do whatever you like and enjoy life all right ladies and gentlemen they's and thems and she's and hers and all of my beautiful people out there who are here in the video today thank you for watching and if this video was a bit insightful to you in any sort of way go ahead and like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video because this advice comes from someone who has matured through life you know what I'm saying so you know just give your girl a comment in the section below and let me know if it was helpful to you in any way because I love hearing what you guys have to say so make sure that you just comment that for me I do read your comments so leave a comment for your girl and as I say every single day or every time you watch one of my videos don't forget that life is a game that we all weren't prepared for so make the best of it I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye